Oh yeah, I'm back with another take. Um, okay, we ready. I'm back with another take. This is a weekly reading or whatever. I see for those of you that don't know what the weekly reading is, that is a weekly energy reading. I tell you, there could be obstacles, some situations that may come your way, situations that may be lingering. Things that need to be addressed for certain issues. Yes, I did this a second because I didn't like the first read. I said, hell no. I'm not going to talk about that. <clears throat> we're going to move it in the direction that we need to go. So, shit, if spirit wants to come out, then it's meant to come out. It's not. So, let's go. Bang! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we got Eight of Swords, Justice, and then we got the Emperor. We three of swords, three of pentacles, and a high priestess. Yep, it's gonna be one of them, but I like it though. Because it is a different way. Yes. Thank you. Because the first one, it was just, no. Like, we weren't going to get nowhere with that bullshit. I said, not today. <laughs> today. Carried it reverse. Um, let's see. Woo, woo, woo. I dropped one. <sighs> we got eight of cups, six of pentacles, four of swords, and a seven of pentacles. Queen of wands. So we're gonna put this on time, but let me pick that up. Everything about this time. Our priestess, it fell up right this time. Ooh. Ooh, it was reversed at first. All right. So let's see what's going on. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is the overall mood, though. Six of Pentacles sometimes could be energy exchanges to me, or it could be financials. It could be gift offerings. It could be trying to receive something or being open. It could be somebody trying to give somebody an offer for something. I don't know. But let's go. We do have a Seven of Pentacles, though. So Seven of Pentacles could be plants and seeds, wanting something, trying to bring something to fruition. We do got a Four of Swords. This could be about financial matters. I told you, this could be energy. This could be relationships affecting certain people. We do got a Five of Cups. There was some uh, energy. We got Knight of Wands. Please don't let this be another baby daddy, baby mama situation. Please don't. 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 Y'all turn me up. <clears throat> the Tower. Please don't be another baby daddy, baby mama situation. Because I'm proud of them. <laughs> no, <Nah>, it's just. <clears throat> let me say this. Baby daddy, baby mama relationships are not getting on my nerves, though. It's really not that bad. It's just the fact of they. I don't know if they're trying to get to a state of peace so fast. It's kind of like it's individual room for growing. So when it comes to conversations that they're talking about or trying to see each other at the same point of view, they're they draining it because it's, it's it's too much right now. You get what I'm saying? You know how like an argument has reached its peak? So it's kind of like, okay, let's go over it. Let's go over it. It's like, no, like it's done. Like the argument is done. Let the shit bake. Let situations happen. Trying to go into a state of trying to be reactionary. That's where it trying to come manipulative with the seven of swords. The seven of swords reverse. That means that it's the truth. This could be revisit. Uh, this could be revisiting something or revisioning. Cause number seven is dead though. To me, that's a completion though. From a biblical towards things, but just from the number seven numerology is revision, revisiting all the R words. Oh, all right. <laughs> On the bottom, oh, no, wait, 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 because this ain't enough for me. Wait a minute. Ooh, ooh. Wait a minute now. I'm going to stop pulling from the bottom. We got the Magician reverse, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. With the Magician, though, it's the Six of Pentacles. This could be somebody that's trying to bring something into fruition. Why I say this energy exchange, Page of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. This could be some emotional dissatisfaction. This could be the games that these girls be like to play in their spiritual community. Y'all know, y'all know, when the girls get in there, like to run for their altar, like to send negative energy out to certain people because of their own emotional disdain. Yes, it is real for those of y'all, though. But the magician with the page of wands and nine of cups, sometimes they could be somebody wanting something or trying to come up with something. The magician is a very tricksterous person and sometimes can be manipulative. So it's in the energy of um, not having all the elements and the tools to reach this piece. Page of Wands sometimes can be a problematic type behavior. It can be an ongoing problem or whatever, like not being satisfied. It can be conversations that's always perceived to be negative, whether this is somebody using magic or 
their relationship with magic or other people or other things because we do got a nine of wands so somebody could be very defensive though so it could be like a, a negative a negative relationship i don't know it could be uh i don't know we'll see but you got a seven of swords and two of wands though this could be somebody using magic Oh, I did kind of get a taste of that, though. This could be somebody using magic. I don't know if it's from a dream state or just from a subconscious type state. This could be somebody, um, whether it could be PTSD. It could be PTSD or certain memories where somebody is in a state of trying to revisit to bring out some form of clarity for them. But you got a two of wands, indecision instead of decision. For somebody, though, this could be somebody that has a problem with magic. Like, I don't know if it's certain things that's coming to fruition, certain spells not working. This could be somebody that's very manipulative, cunning, tricksterous when it comes to certain things. So the decision that necessarily relies within them, I don't think somebody's very conscious of the things that they necessarily do because intentions may necessarily be off. We do got the eight of wands, though. Somebody could be using magic to necessarily block or stop or hurdle somebody, though, because I told you this do be that game. For those of y'all that be talking to folks or whatever the case may be, shut your mouth. I said, did I say that in Scorpio season? Scorpio season, Libra season, and Virgo season. I specifically said stop telling people y'all business. It was a reason. It was a reason. But you do got an eight of wands. I said this could be somebody that has, like, a horrible uh problem. Not, for me, this kind of feels like somebody got a problem with magic. I don't know if you're trying to block somebody. This could be certain instances. Some of y'all could be trying to counteract somebody else's magic or whatever the case may be. I don't know. So it's kind of like uh, protection spells, barriers. I don't know because it, it's like a boundary or something of sorts with a person or a situation. Because maybe the conversations may be negative or maybe it could be manipulative in certain ways. So they're very cunning with trying to bring it. So for some of y'all, it could be a block. On the opposite side, somebody's very hasty and decision makers that ends up causing blockages and they don't see their own behavior. You do got a queen of swords energy. And you also got a tower, though. Yeah. I, this is definitely what it is. Somebody keeps trying to bring up certain conversations that lead to nowhere or somebody's very manipulative. So the queen of swords sometimes can be a very logical uh, person in a very clairvoyant type way. But with the tower, though, um, with the tower, though, because it's definitely like this is about this. Um, uh, shit, because we do got an Eight of Swords. Because Eight of Swords sometimes can be hexes and curses. So I said it could be necessarily around with the crown of the mind. This is somebody that's trying to do this. Or this could be conversations with PTSD. Somebody don't want to let something go. Somebody could be trying to seek some type of counsel or person without going through a disruptive type state. But I kind of feel like with somebody going to, or I, I, don't, I don't know, logic and logic and somebody just don't add up. Let's get over it. It's going to keep it stuck because this whole reading ain't about you got a king of wands and a knight of wands. Some of y'all avoiding some. What are y'all avoiding somebody? I said this a long time ago. We got a page of cups. Somebody avoiding somebody because it's four swords. I don't know if it's a conversation with them or a person. Somebody could be extremely negative. I don't know if it's the way they talk, self talk, certain conversations though. But with the seven of pentacles, somebody that's avoiding somebody though. Because the Knight of Wands is like moving forward, fast-paced. King of Wands is a very, okay, all right, let's get it done. Sometimes it can be a little bit selfish, depending on the direction, though. But it could be a dupe of the spirit. But with the Seven of Pentacles, though, this could be about money or finances, though. Um, For some of y'all that's trying to reach a peak or something, like, say, for instance, you scenario. You got you want something in your life, and you wouldn't tell somebody necessarily what you want, right? And you and this person fall out. <clears throat> In the midst of this, I kind of feel like somebody's trying to block some type of decision that somebody's trying to make. Especially with the Seven of Pentacles, if it's going to bring you into abundance or something, because it's the Seven of Pentacles reverse. So somebody's trying to cause some form of stress, anxiety, worry. I don't know what it is, but it's an energy exchange necessarily going on. It could be jealousy, though, because you do got Queen of Wands. So I would say that you got a King and Queen of Wands. So it could be jealousy. This could be somebody that you land with a post relationship, because you do got a courtship or a kingmanship, whatever it is. So it don't have to be a relationship. It could be somebody of kin. It could be um, a close friend. I don't know in proximity, but I'm not getting a fucking relationship. So let me just say this. So, Ariel, this is going to be a long ass reading. I can feel this. Okay. <laughs> we got an Eight of Swords. I told you, Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles, and the Chariot, though. Chair reverse though, sometimes that's a very forceful situation though. 
the three of swords sometimes could be heartbreak or betrayal. The three of pentacles, somebody is very uncompromising, unwilling to look at the bigger picture. Somebody don't want to seek counsel or seek outside. Somebody that's eight of swords, somebody could be trapped in their mind. Somebody could have a martyr complex when it comes to certain people or certain situations, though. The chariot sometimes could be a very forceful situation. I don't know if it's dealing with somebody else or with magic. There's somebody that's trying to force somebody to buy down. So I don't know if you need to do a cleanse in your home or relationships with certain people, but just take count to certain energy interactions that you have with certain people that bring about a certain form of stress. And it doesn't always have to be with a magical aspect. It could be somebody that's very manipulative, overbearing, a little bit needy. It's a very octopusy type energy. So for some of y'all, I think it's going to be that though, because it's the three of pentacles. For some of y'all, this could be the dynamic of a certain person or relationship or family matter i don't know it's like somebody can't hold it on it does feel like that though so it's kind of like you know those people that in those bad moods and it sours everybody else because you got a three of swords with a three of pentacles so somebody very uncompromising about this it is okay we do got justice though <sighs> justice is fair so i told you sometimes on the latter side of justice is the argument of you and somebody necessarily fall out. The latter is somebody being an emotional state or whatever it is. Like that's the balance of a situation. So right is right. Equally, somebody. Whilst I feel like somebody's trying to say something wrong, you got high priestess in here. You got high priestess in the death energy with the queen of wands. Though for some of y'all, though, this could be that. Though I don't know if you're trying to seek fairness with a person though. Because queen of wands can be a very competitive, malicious, two-faced individual. They could be very gossipy, trying to control certain things. Um, they, If it's a friend base, it's somebody that's not your friend. I would say that, no, this is somebody that's not your friend. Queen of Wands is nobody friends. That's why I say when it comes to careers, this could be a person that try to go behind your back, uh, sign certain deals. If it's magical aspect, they will try to compete with you. Like, they just don't see it for you. Like, that's somebody who's very manipulative in a sense. But you do got a high priestess, though, in the death energy. So for some of y'all, I kind of feel like this is the ending of something or somebody trying to transform some type of relationship. So I do kind of feel like it's the ending of that. Because with the death energy on top of that, though, so it's kind of like, yeah, this the end. It reach this peak. So that's a transformative process, though. You do have the emperor, which is here. You also got the star and the star reverse. Any eight of cups. For some of y'all, though, with the star and the sun and the judge... That shit get on my nerves. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Some of y'all. Um, this could be a custody battle. I say that though. It could be a custody battle. I will say that though. With this energy, justice and emperor. This could be somebody trying to go seek a judge, an emperor. Sometimes it can be a judge about a child and a star. Oh, trying to get along or heal some sort of relationship, though, because you got an Eight of Cups. For some of y'all, though, this Eight, Queen of Wands, and the Emperor, though, this could be, um, I tell you, some type of fairness, trying to split some down the middle. This could be leadership. This could be conducting something with an Eight of Cups. Somebody has some unhealthy attachments to something, though. I don't know. Like, it with the star and the sun, though, this could be somebody that's very uh, unhappy because the sun sometimes can be inner child. It could be pride. It could be ego. Whatever it is. It could be with a parent. I don't... Like, one of y'all... Girl, I don't want to be on here all day. This Queen of Wands with this Eight of Cups. Somebody got unhealthy emotional attachments to an environment or a certain situation. This could be somebody where you hear me say, I don't know if it's PTSD, anxiety, or old memories or situations where they necessarily stuck. So, because of this... The uncompromising wanted to see I seek outside help for heartbreak, certain situations, or painful experiences. Um, I don't know if it's the dynamic. I don't want to break this shit down. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um, because you got a six of pentacles. Let me just keep pulling. I don't want to break this down. With the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Cups, this somebody has an unattached, unhealthy attachment to something. So it's no matter how much they win with the chair reverse, it's always going to feel like a loss. 
And maybe it's a certain people or friends that they hang around, people who they try to share in their glorious moments. Queen of Wands and a father, this could be a feminine, a masculine, a masculine, a feminine that has some unhealthy attachments to the dynamic of their relationship where they was together and somebody cheated on them. So they're very uncompromising about how the relationship will go forward with the both of them. So it feels very draining though. So now it's focused on financial aspects. I kind of feel like this, this is a co-parenting situation. I do. Or this is with a parent. I don't know. Go check out the air sign read. I think it was that though. I said air sign. I think it was air sign. I don't know. Was it air sign? Ooh, it almost fell down, baby. No man. You got eight of pentacles. Ooh, thank you. Um <clears throat> King of Wands, Mighty Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Mighty Wands. Yeah, Jesus, you got five cups, four, two, or seven pentacles. Same thing. Paying attention though. Um well, what do y'all, you hear me say, let's go back to this, though, because I don't want to break down this Queen of Wands relationship. I don't for it, because I'm telling you exactly what it is. There's nothing to go over. This Eight of Pentacles with this King of Wands, Knight of Wands, and this Five of Cups. Oh, this is exactly the problem is. This typical, though. Sometimes this do happen, though. Like, it, it, it's just weird, because certain baby mamas or baby fathers have don't have this uh, smooth relationship with each other, so sometimes they get in a relationship and they be with somebody else. And somebody brings out a better part in them to where they could, um, if they're in a relationship and they dated somebody with kids, somebody could be paying attention to how they treat their children or the indifference is, is. But the meanwhile, this person is still sitting in a space of heartbreak and very uncompromising about it, though. So it limits the direction of a relationship of how these two can get along. So that's why I said it kind of feels like that, though. Five of Cups means somebody didn't grieve about it and over it. This is just them being, I'm not going to say bitter. It's a horrible word. They got a callus around their heart. So they don't want to let something go, especially with this, though. So, you got a seven of pentacles and a hang once. It's like, here it go. Because the eight of pentacles is paying attention. That's why I said, yeah. Ooh, all right. We got a three of cups. We got a four of cups and a hair front. Bam. It's three of cups with this four of cups. I mean, there's a seven of cups at play and a hair for it. This got something to do with money. I hope not. But for some of y'all, though, uh, I say with this queen of wands or this type of personality, if it's friendship, if it's group, if it's partnerships, money, energy exchange, if one of y'all, y'all around somebody or connects with somebody who's inability to fucking grow up. I'm just going to be honest because this queen of wands can be very uh, on the realm of self-sabotaging. Because it is, though. With the three and the four cups, though, what? Over here. And I bought the stuff for it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. With the three and the four cups and a hair fund, though, I don't like this energy, though, because the four cups is regret. And it's this dame, though. So it's, it's a problem with celebrating somebody else. Like, does this make sense? Like, because the three of cups is all about celebrating parties, relationships, right? So regardless of what somebody else wants, you see the four of cups, somebody sitting there in pity before it gets to the space of minor depression, and then you got the hell of hair front. So this could be a marriage or relationship, though. This could be somebody that's unhappy about somebody else's engagements, um, processes, process, relationship. I don't, I don't know. It just feels weird. Like, somebody is... It, it's a, it, ah, it's a, uh, ooh, yeah, it's going to be long. It's going to be one of those. <laughs> right. The moon and two of cups. Who got married? Did one of y'all get married and the ex got mad or it was a marriage that went on? Somebody looking at how somebody else did something with the moon. I don't know if you hid this from them. You was in a relationship. What the hell is going on? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's weird. I don't want to know this. If this is a friend group dynamic, one of y'all friends is salty or baby daddy or baby mama or somebody because we do got a two of cups about some type of relationship that somebody has. This could be fears or worries. So this could be somebody going to go partner up, venture up, business up with somebody else and somebody's like, uh -uh, no, you're not. 
So it's kind of like a very saltiness about it. This could be somebody trying to teach somebody something, learn something, hidden anxieties or worries. But it's like the relationship or connection whoever you have with. It's room for growth. Okay. Girl, Woo, got seven of swords though. But this is typical though, because I said it's a seven of cups in play. So this could have been somebody that offered somebody else their hand in marriage, offered them a chance at this, offered them something. That's what somebody offered somebody something. I don't know. If there was a relationship, somebody offered somebody something. It didn't work out with them. So somebody gave it to something else. And this is where it is, the seven of swords energy. So maybe somebody was very sneaky about it because it's a moon because you didn't see their intentions. Maybe this was the direction of a relationship that was supposed to go and somebody didn't necessarily get it. We don't want sometimes if we talk about an ex or a friend or a relationship, that's the that's the that's the person that would sit there and cause the bad mouth slander, talk about a person I did it over and over and over and over and over again because they don't have them. We don't want sometimes to be a parent because y'all do got three of pentacles and three of cups. Ugh. Mm -hmm. King, Queen of Wands. This could be a parent or personal. I don't know who this is. It's very domineering. We got the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. It's Seven of Swords, though. Ain't got nothing to do with me. This seven of swords, three of cups, four of cups, hair front, the moon, two of cups. I mean, there was a five of cups, so somebody went through grief. This could be somebody that was in a marriage or a commitment or a relationship. I don't know, but I kind of feel like somebody just holding on to the bad times because it's a two of swords and a seven of seven of swords. So this could be a relationship where somebody, I don't know. Because if it's kind of like the relationship is at a standpoint, like this the point of where somebody need to be paying for counseling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Paying or trying to find or be open to receive something. But I like Six of Pentacles because it's open to receive. The Wheel of Fortune with the Queen of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, though. Uh, Five of Pentacles could be hardships financially. Whether this is about um, money or relationships, though. Sometimes Five of Pentacles can be humiliating, though. Because Seven of Swords is not a nice card. Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, sneaking, self-sabotaging, manipulation, uh, condescend condescending, revenge plots, scamming, blackmail, frenemy, sabotaging. So it's kind of like that, though. So somebody got to sabotage and tease, though. The Wheel of Fortune with the Queen of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, though. So I feel like that's a completed cycle. Somebody's trying to complete something or coming out of something, though. I don't know if it's with feminine aspects or just overall relationships, though. Because with the Queen of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, that's definitely humiliation. I will say that, though. It's not that, though. Somebody would say, out in the cold. It could be out in the cold, but I don't feel like it's that, though. Because the door is open. So this could be somebody that doesn't make somebody feel accepted, though. Purposely. Mm. Yes, yes. All right, as we wrap this up, we do got Page of Cups. We got Page of Wands, Nine of Cups, and then we got the uh, Five of Swords. I tell you, Page of Wands, that's bad news. Uh, that's ongoing problems, Nine of Cups, that's keeping up with the Joneses. This could be somebody that's going through some financial hardships or whatever the case may be that was in a relationship. And now, um, when COVID was doing them things before they was in the money, these days, a whole lot of people going through it with this stuff. Because a lot of people want uh, financially savvy with their money. So they got a five of swords. So for some of you, this could be arguing about a home or relationship or where somebody's going to stay. Because that's conflict, though. This is conflict, though. Page of Wands is this conflict, though. Nine of Cups is keeping up with the Joneses. When it comes to materialism, greed, and all those different types of things. We do got a King of Pentacles, though. All your kings coming out of right.
Because you ain't notice that every king that I pull is every man I have had is a young one. So, the Pentecost. So, I don't know. Because this could be a masculine going through a fraternity case. But I don't know. It's like this masculine got great relationships with his kids or financially provide. But it's kind of like with the women, it sucks. So, kind of like he does this. I, I, I kinda, It's like he does this. I don't know. He, I don't know if it's a, a masculine or a feminine who does this, though. Like, somebody does this with the intent, though. Queen of Cups with this Five of Pentacles, this page one, somebody does this with intent. You ain't noticed that? So, it's kind of like, this is a masculine. Say, oh, I got a relationship with this person. I got a relationship with this person. I got a relationship with when it comes to somebody else. It's it's repetitively. Because all the queens are fucking reversed. Somebody does this, though, I'm telling you, though. So, this could be a baby father that's trying to make it seem like a mother's, in, in, like, unequivalent to take care of their child or a feminine that does this to make it seem like a masculine is unequivalent to take care of their child. Girl, we're going to switch this up. I don't like this. You got two of swords here. Ooh, it was, yeah. Yeah, we finna... We finna wrap this one. We finna pull on the other side. Didn't I say that on you? I can't even throw all the way over the right Or, because mm, I can see it two ways. This could be a feminine that's having trouble with a child, also, or seeking some type of financial support. And I don't know if it's financial support that the feminine needs. It's more like the stable role of a person in their life because the, the king, if it was a female, she'd have been all the goddamn kings. So if it's a relationship or the aspect or what comes to receiving help, every one of them is reversed. So the relationship with her and men, it would be flawed because she had to do everything it is by herself. That's exactly what it is, because you got a king of swords and an ace of swords. So this could be logic. So that's it, though. So somebody got a mentality of, I've, I've been doing this, I've been doing this, this what, da, 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 da. So somebody has a strong, independent type state. Inability to accept. Six of Pentacles. Help. We gonna get off this, because I was not expecting this to turn. I was not. This is so drawn out. And it's kind of heartbreaking, though. It really is. It is. It's kind of heartbreaking. All right. On the bottom of the deck, we got Page of Cups. Ooh. We got Lovers. Empress. I was like, this, this is kind of heartbreaking. It really is. <laughs> That's four wands. This is not a Pentacles or Race. Power. Four wands. I was like, this is kind of heartbreaking. It's seven wands. Ooh, four Pentacles. Page of Swords. And I say it was the Seven of Cups. And there goes the motherfucker. King of Cups and the Seven of Cups. And I knew that bitch was coming out in the Six of Cups. But the one with the Cups are right. Look at all them cups. Ooh. Six of Cups. Nine of Cups, the Six, and the King of Seven of Cups. Somebody was a um, manipulator. This could be somebody that I kind of feel like, I don't know why I kind of feel like if this is a masculine, they got, like, they're like, I take care of my kids, I take care of my kids, but the relationship with their baby mama, they kind of don't, so it's kind of like, uh, fucked up. Um, so if they go off and see them be with somebody else, this could be a masculine at the time that was trying to seek some form of relationship with them, and the shit just didn't work out. For them, uh, with the knight and the six, uh, knight of cups sometimes can be a person that's very self-absorbed. So they seek pleasure through their own relationship standpoint. So the Six of Cups could be a very person that's stuck to the past. It can be uh, nostalgia. Sometimes it can be inner child, childhood trauma. It could be the way that somebody emotionally moves because of their own experience. And then we got King of Cups with the Seven of Cups. And that's how they mask the pain. Jumping from one thing to the other or looking at uh, things at just a surface value. So this could be me and somebody dates. So this could be a feminine and how she dates. I don't know. It's just weird. It's something with childhood trauma, their connections, or connected to certain men. Then I say it's kind of like PTSD. It's like on nine of swords. I say it's kind of like PTSD, some form of relationship or with memories. Yeah, we're going to flip. We're going to flip. We gonna play up. We finna switch decks though, cause I kind of feel like this gonna be long. I'm gonna watch this all the way through, cause Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, King of Cups, and a Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups sometimes can be an unrequited somebody that fell in love with somebody, or like I, it, it goes two ways. 
you can see this as somebody that has an unrequited situation with somebody that they built a bond with sex, but equally though on both parts with the Six of Pentacles is a give and exchange where both people were necessarily selfish, manipulative going into with the expectation of this person is this, this person is this, so it wasn't no real foundation. It wasn't. The Six of, six of Cups is this somebody that likes to go back towards the past, reminisce about certain things, but it's not bringing them forth right into the Six of Pentacles, though. Some of y'all, if it is child support, this could be somebody that you possibly had a one-night stand when it's like, oh, this bitch got pregnant. Wow, now you got to pay for it. And um, it just feels like that, though, I'm telling you, because you can see this both ways. Somebody who's a cheater, manipulator, but I think this person uncunningly, like uncannily, when they cheat or move on to one person to the next person, this could be somebody baby daddy that got a whole bunch of emotional trauma. So the emotional trauma that they have plays out into them and seem like, well, I can go here, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, because somebody's selfishly absorbed. This could be a feminine that plays that role. And it's something with connecting or something with men that's emotionally manipulative or women. We gonna get out there though, but it's something about the inner child. Because I'll tell you, this inner child page of cups is a very sinister, manipulative, backhanded apology, sneaky, manipulative. So it's kind of like, because page of cups, sometimes when you see those kids who are very manipulative and sneaky, they do those things that people don't want to do. Because either they lack the growing up in the six of cups, so it'd be certain things that they do to appeal to certain people. And as they grow up, if this behavior keeps going and going, it's because they do this because they know how to get attention which is instant gratification, like those know how to trigger, emotionally respond, do these different types of things, because you got a page of swords with the four pinnacles, page of swords, if this is building or, like I said, some relationship with a person, a uh, page of swords is definitely a smear campaign that was going on about a person. A uh, page of swords sometimes could be somebody who is not trusting, can't tell them certain things. They play both sides. Uh, they seek out the bad and certain things to use those against the people. You got the four so this is clingy, needy. Um, this could be somebody in a relationship that don't trust somebody. If we're going back to marriage, this or form of just the basic foundations. If your partner ain't ever cheated on you, this could be, this could be somebody got trust issues from that. So they're holding on to this. You got a seven of wands, though. So because of that relationship, they feel like they can cross certain people's boundaries, their partner boundaries. There's just something, though, with it, them and boundaries. They don't know. So certain issues where they feel like they can, especially I kind of feel like this Queen of Wands. And you got two of Wands, so it's very indecisive on how you deal with them or how you, I don't know. Uh, then you got the Tower reversed. Where is it? Then you got Nine of Pentacles. Girl, what the hell y'all got y'all self thinking? <laughs> what? Because with this two of wands and this five, this, this seven of wands, there's a five of wands energy at play, so it's like competitiveness. You kind of do though with that page of swords. Ugh. This power and this nine of pentacles, this is emotional draining though, because for some of y'all though, I kind of feel like it's an issue that's been going on for so long that it has not reached its head. Because page of swords, it's definitely if it's a friend going back to the queen of wands or somebody else, this is somebody that goes around and like, girl, yeah, I mean, she know her, girl. And it's kind of like, but I thought we were close. Or if you was to do something, ideally, which was a mistake or something that goes on between the both of you, this is somebody that goes behind your back and then go. So it just feels very nasty. I say that. It just feels very nasty, though. Because it's not a pinnacle to be self-absorbed. Somebody's always focused on their well-being and not somebody else's, though. Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot. Then we got the four wands with the emperor. Other. Four wands, this is a group dynamic or teamwork, you know, with other people, other individuals. I'm not writing that shit. Four wands with the Empress, though. Uh, oh, shit. One of y'all, I want to say this, though. One of y'all, we're just going to be honest. I'm not talking about nobody, but I'm don't take it that way. Bring out when it comes to making a fake of partnerships or relationships, whether it's with men or commitment or trust issues, when it comes to uh, hyper femininity, sometimes that is misused it's because of a parent. Because the emperor sometimes could be an absentee mother or relationships or just seeing a certain feminine act a certain way. So this could be a teamwork dynamic or certain uh, 
relationships. With the Queen of Wands, sometimes it could be a, a person that's very domineering. So if it's a group, it's kind of like we don't get to do what we want to do because they always like it's that. So it's kind of like some type of where somebody's kind of like overbearing. It's kind of like you've been friends, y'all meet up. You can like, yeah, we're going to sit down, we're going to do this. And then it's kind of like one person is always ruining the vibe. Like, hmm. But for one of y'all, I don't know, it's like a mother. I'm telling you, like, one of y'all, I don't know. That's I don't think y'all ready for that. Um, Because you got six in the page cups. Oh, why are y'all not ready for this? <laughs> y'all not, I feel it. Oh, uh, I might go live. <laughs> I might go live so we can just upload. Like, we're going to upload this and we might go live, sweetie. Because with this lovers and this page of cups, Yeah, we might go live. Uh, yeah, we might go live. It's not that I can't read. It's just that I don't think it just should be said because I don't think somebody ready for it. Like, does this make sense? Like, because with the four of cups, who I got a crystal that's sticking me. Here we go. Um, that's what it is. The four wands with the embers and the lovers and the page of cups. Though, like I said, this could be if it's a group of friends or feminines or relationship or niggas or building relationships. This could be a feminine that has like a tainted past necessarily with men or building relationships, but it's kind of like this sauerkraut energy because of women. I don't know if it's like horrible relationship with women or self of lack of idea, identifying the love that's within self. So this could be somebody where you hear me say, like, you see dudes do this. Well, I don't love myself. I'm going to get in a relationship. And then once that love isn't at its peak no more to where his inner child is his interest, this is where you cheat. This is where you try to find other stuff otherwhere. So it's kind of like somebody trying to look for love outside of them or necessarily a group of a support, but which is cool. Which I'm cool with that, but it's just the empress that's reversed. And the queen of wands. So somebody could be doing damage. It's not a leading energy. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that though. But too, if you look at it though, this could be somebody that didn't have a mother growing up. <sighs> I don't think somebody ready for the topic though. Because ugh, I don't think you're ready. I don't. I don't think somebody read. I don't. All right, so we're gonna flip. Um, because the queen wants an empress. Sometimes that could be somebody that grow didn't grow up with with a mother's love, like or just growing through certain obstacles or certain experiences and needing that emotional validation as a child. That when you grow up, somebody can have a very tainted experience when it comes to women. That's what I kind of feel like, though. So women at certain points could be like, okay, well, I really love them. I really love them. And then when they become too much, it's kind of like, ugh, like, get off me. Or I don't want this. Or, da, 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 da. So it's like a withdrawal. Let me go find something new. So I feel like somebody got a relationship like that, though. Because the consistency of having that emotional support of being built up or saying, oh, I love you. You look beautiful today. You look this. Or you're going to grow up. You're going to do this. So the consistency of that, it stunted somebody a lot. It did. So that's why I, I don't think this conversation is for that. I really don't. It's not saying that I don't think somebody read it, but it feels like so cringy. I'm slowing this out. And I don't know. I just be like, oh, yeah, shoot for the call. So it feels cringy to me. Me. I'm sorry. Not you, but me. It feels cringy to me. Sorry. It's not you, it's me. It's not you, it's me. Uh, it feels cringy to me. So I'm gonna say that. Cringy to me because it feels like somebody's like, well, yeah, you know, this is a. <sighs> How can I say this? When it comes to certain parts of when you on your healing journey and you trying to feel or trying to get more out of life and you trying to balance your feminine energy or the way you love or the way you connect, the way you ground yourself and tap into your roots, it's going to be some things that you're going to have to understand. Um... It's going to be certain things that you're going to have to understand about yourself and certain people. It's going to be certain areas that they feel with you. That doesn't mean that they are horrible people now. It's just back then they didn't know what they knew. But it's just that fine line in between where certain people get caught up. I'm saying so it's a tricky though. If somebody not ready to open it. So it can be very hard when somebody's like, I want to open, I want to open, I want to, I'm like, 
no energy saying, hell no. <laughs> like, you want to go pay somebody else? Like, that's how you want to go pay somebody else? They're like, no, I'm like, you want to go pay somebody else? I lose money. All right. I preach this reverse again. King of Wands and the Lovers. Ooh. We got Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and we got the Temperance. We also got um, the Sun and the Eight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, and I said it was a five of one. I'm telling you, it's going to come out on the second. We got Empress, Pentacles, and the Devil. Yep, yep, yep. That is control. All right. Ugh. Ooh, wait a minute. I'm going to catch the Devil. I heard it. I don't think this is called safe for somebody to read it for a minute. Y'all maybe you got the double energy here. Double energy sometimes to me could be trauma bond though, like certain things of the past or certain issues or certain shadow concepts, survival skills, hedonism. Sometimes that could be the way we abuse drugs, the way we suppress certain issues. Sometimes it could roll into mania, mental illness, uh, depression. Um, I said mania. It's kind of like those type of forms of me. So it kind of leads that to me, though. With the high priest of reverse, that could be somebody where you hear me saying a darker style of certain concepts where it uh, leads me to magic. Or this could be somebody in a form of that doesn't listen to intuition because they shadow driven first. So this could be somebody when it comes into survival type skills for people who didn't have those type of relationships or love or this. That's where that Queen of Wands energy would come out, though, because of. Uh, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. So it's more like a strong attachment to the past instead of saying, let me evolve, let me grow. So it's more like the need to survive. It's not about you. It's about their survival mode. So a lot of times when they get into this state of healing and it comes to recognizing this, they got to be able to be free from their own past and their own pain. Though. I will say that though, especially with that devil. Because high priest is queen of wands, five of pentacles, and the five of wands though. So your high priest sometimes can be a very uh, manipulative person can be uh, it can be a duplicitous person somebody who likes to keep up or put on a certain facade they're very sneaky condescending you don't see them in their ways you got a five of pentacles and a five of wands though i said that it goes back to the energy of where this could be uh a mother and a father or whatever type of parent issue where you just necessarily didn't feel like you was going through acceptance the five of wands and the five of pentacles. It could be arguments, conflict, and fights. Five of pentacles. This could be somebody getting put out and necessarily stepping into their own direction. You got a king of wands, though. So this could be um, not a father who's around or a person who was just there. Or this could be a mother that necessarily went through this, though, alone. A mother, an elder, or whoever this was. You got a temperance and a son. And then you got an empress. And this is a group dynamic. This is the five of wands causing chaos. The leader full of shit. Period. The King of Wands with the Temperance and the Sun. This could be somebody that's very selfish because the King of Wands is reverse. When I see the Kings reverse and the Queens upright, that's a dude who act like a female. When I see the King upright and I see the Queens reverse, that's a woman who act like a man. To me, like it is, and not like a man of like, oh, I got this. I don't need a man. No, where it's very cutthroat, I don't care about your feelings, da, 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 da. Like they're very self they're very self-absorbed. We got Empress though. Because you got Temperance. <sighs> These two people competing in Argo going back and forth with the Temperance. But I feel I'm telling you this argument. Like, I don't think y'all read it because this argument that goes on, whether it's this feminine with her own being intuitiveness or stepping into a power of being a mother or a relationship with a masculine, though, is communication. Because if this is a mother or somebody grew up in a household that argues, that fights, that calls all these different types of stuff, wouldn't it be normal for me to get in a relationship and, like, talk to men or do certain things or cause discord or manipulatory acts in a relationship? Um, because temperance can be somebody who communicates something from a point of view where it's very argumentative. Point. You got lovers reverse. 
I got eight of cups. So we got the nine and the ten of swords reversed. Ooh, this is not a conversation, y'all. It's really fuck. So yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry though. Eight of cups with the nine of pentacles. Yeah, it is. So. If this like, I don't know. Because if it's two people where it's like a mom and a feminine that's going head to head where they compete with each other, if this is a masculine, it's it's, it's messed up because this king of wands going to choose this mama regardless. So that would cause a lot of problems in relationships. So this is your third party entity. The self-reflection of what you allowed into your life at a time. So this could be somebody that's going to choose whoever that breaks up a dime. Wow. This could be somebody's wife, lover, whoever it is, baby mama, baby dad. It's like, fuck you. This us. This is them. This is them. And uh, so it causes a lot of problems, though. It does, though. I don't think this conversation, this could be a mama. This could be, I don't know. It, it, it. We're going to say this for another day. Just let me know when you're ready. I'll just feel the conversation back one by one. Choo. I but <laughs> yeah because i do feel like that though for some y'all that's necessarily trying to seek help or uh talk to certain individuals when it comes to certain things you do got the lovers reverse that's what i said lovers reverse is number six so i kind of feel like when it comes to seeking help or validation and necessarily in relationships a lot of y'all go where you necessarily attracted to like you don't follow your intuition so when it comes to your environment or survival skills when it comes to certain people because of your own pain or own hurt this high priestess and this chaos and this drama will make you feel more attracted to it until you necessarily don't fit there no more so a lot of y'all when it comes to helping certain individuals i don't think you choose right because you got a ten of swords so this could be somebody that serves up more arguments and miscommunications i don't know if you're paying somebody ideally though because you got a nine of pentacles that's somebody who's very, I don't know, like you paying somebody to go sit down and talk to somebody. This could be somebody that's telling somebody uh, to stay out of somebody else's business or relationship. Or this could be somebody that's telling somebody, oh, you're golden, you're this, you're this, you're this. It was very hard for them to get in. Mm -hmm. Girl, y'all got some chick going on. You got two of cups, knight of cups. Ace of Wands and Five. I told you this two people, somebody in a relationship, or this two friends or certain people, Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I don't know who it is. Ooh, here it goes. And there we go. We got Page of Wands and the Queen of Cups. I told you, Queen of Cups sometimes can be emotional manipulative when it comes to emotional matters or whatever the case may be. It could be somebody that's kind of depressed or going through certain things. I tell y'all, people who suffer with depression can be the most biggest manipulators. I'll just be so focused on saying, oh, they depressed, they depressed. And all them motherfuckers can keep up a lot of shit if you let them. Um, page of Wands to the, that. This could be bad news, though. I don't know. Like I feel like these two people are messed up relationship. This could be... Uh, somebody in a relationship with somebody, mama going head to head. This could be somebody always choosing their parents, somebody else. I just feel like this conversation is overplayed. So when it comes to them, they always perceive them as being negative. I kind of feel like if this is a group dynamic, friend group, or whatever the case may be, whether it's coming in control, this is somebody that already casts, uh, they already, um, demonize somebody before they came in. So it, it's, it's this chaoticness. I don't know, it's chaotic. I don't know, it's chaotic. Somebody already label somebody. Then you got three of cups because it's somebody that gossips. Somebody got a problem with gossip. I told y'all. Uh, I don't let nobody else. I don't let nobody else. You got a five of swords. Woo. And then we got an ace of wands, nine of cups, two of cups. Yeah, this one's some of y'all, though. I, I, as, as the table turns outside of that, though, this could be somebody got a flawed relationship with other feminists, though, because we got queen, 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 and it's like after every queen is always a damn problem. But tell me how this could be a relationship with women, though, because you got a three of cups and a five of five of wands. So this could be somebody that likes to cause discord, talk about negative issues, not knowing when to cut the party off, giving unwarranted criticism, and it turns into a fight, a conflict. Then this is when they get stuck. They stay idle in a certain position where they idolize what it is that they do, and they don't know how to give an olive branch or be accepting. 
or move to a new place because it's a night of cups and a few of cups. A night of cups sometimes can be two place gossip or somebody that suppresses their feelings, whether this is about a relationship or a person. So this could be two dynamics with certain people where between the both of them, who's ever in the middle, here's the both. And so I was like, all right, okay, let's go. Yep. I'm uploading this as is. As is. But as we wrap this up, though, with this five of swords, I said, be very mindful. I said this long ago with the five of swords. I know five of swords sometimes can be a dominating or a conflicting energy. But I always say be very mindful when it comes to people being in five of swords. Because the way the moral compass mind, the way the morals are set up in this day and age is if you see somebody hurt, go after them. Sometimes the person who always end up being hurt, that be the motherfucker that be causing a lot of shit. So you don't know how hard it was somebody to stand up for the courage to to go against this person. I said also be mindful in that five of swords energy that you don't be so aggressive that people run off and they don't listen to you and they go group up with other people and then perceiving you a wrong way. So that's why I said perception is a motherfucker. So uh yeah but for some of y'all though y'all been struggling trying to make friends or build connections with certain women it sucks. Because either they end horribly where y'all just talk about each other behind his back, uh, lack of boundaries, you can say what you want to say to them, be disrespectful, whatever it is, it's cutthroat, it's draining, somebody tries to control, it's like one friend or the other that tries to trump somebody else, feels like they know, <sighs> but it's the, I mean, that's it. We're going to wrap We're going to wrap this. We're going to wrap this. I'm not going to lie, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta do this wig real quick. I don't know. I don't know. Don't hold me to it. I be lying sometimes. <laughs> Let me stop saying that though. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't hold me to it. Don't hold me to it. Hard to my mind and my heart. Don't hold me to it. Do not hold me to it. Do not. Please don't. <laughs> now I'm for real. That's why I was jumping the first time. The first week, because I knew it was going like that. I said, oh shit. And then the still came out. Meditating, contemplate. That's new moon and Pisces. So. Ooh. Have faith in your dreams. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, I ain't saying it like that though, but why would this card come out? Because I don't have faith in your dreams is to believe in something though, but I don't think it's some foundation that necessarily been set, even if somebody trying to heal or work on something. I don't know. I'm saying I don't know the basis of it. That's the point when it comes to the reading. You gotta be bold and make the first move. That's all the current signs and cancer. You got a personal issue reaches a solution. This is a house of family. Um Relationships, personal bonds. Time to give rather than take some of y'all friendships. Ooh, have to tell me more. Please run me my money. Bitch, run me my money. No, I'm just playing. Uh, you are good enough and time to breathe out. That's why I said, ooh, it's like I see the argument, I see the problem. I see the argument, I see the problem, I see the argument, I see the problem in the reading. But, I'm like, oh, I but for me, it's like, what's the outcome? That's the point. Like, it's just like, I'm just flipping cards at this point, because just peeling big layers, peeling big layers, peeling big layers. But what's the outcome that somebody wants? Because it seems like it's just a madhouse of 50 different people, like, stating their opinion, saying this, saying this. And it's like, well, what? Like, what's the outcome? You just want me to confirm that this bitch fake? Like, he needs some shady shit, or he needs some shady shit, and y'all two don't get along? Like, is that what you need to hear? Or what? Your baby mama reworking you? Or what? <laughs>
The girls get mad, got a problem with magic. <laughs> By the end of this, in the trial issues to see how to fix them to get to the next relationship. Is that it? In their relationship that's requiring them to step up and be in love. Boundaries need to be chosen in this season of for people who have relationships with where husband and wives build a better relationship, it showed them to build a better bond to where family feel like they um but they didn't choose them. Family finally going out to certain things that they want because of COVID. Like, what? Like, what is it that you need? Say it. I'm not a mind reader. I'm not a bot, okay? I'm not. Ow. Money problems. I can read your mind, baby. I know what you're thinking. Look at that. Golden egg, black egg, and you got the octopus. And I say, I said somebody got a callus around their heart. The golden egg is reverse. The black egg is the throat. An octopus. Said that I'm not got an octopus personality. I did. I said they drain it. That's where it's like the energy change. I think mean, it's kind of like a. It's a tip for tact. Otter and the dragon. Ugh, as we wrap this up, because I'm saying it's draining. It's draining. Let me get out of here. Um, it's a tip for tact energy. It really is. And when I explain, let me let me say this out. It's a tip for tact. When I say tip for tact, it's more like the energy of, well, if it was like a co-parenting issue, two people, it's like, well, I do this and you don't do this. So I'm going to make it harder for you. You know that concept that black people have. I'm going to make it harder for you because it was hard for me. What the fuck? That's what it kind of feels like, though. For some of y'all, I said with this octopus energy, it needs to have boundaries. Otter, the dragon, and a turtle, though. For some of y'all, this is draining. Because the otter and the dragon, like, that's not, that's a solar plex. Solar places, confidence, inner child, happiness, right in front of the otter, because the otter is a playful time. Girl, this is so draining. And then you got the turtle, not knowing where you want to go inside, soul purposes, direction in life. You got a lizard, that's a dreamer. Dreams are real. And then you got fish, stingray, and the camel. Fish. Rain, rain, and the camera. Yeah, that's it. Tell me, I don't know where you want to go, because especially when it comes to emotions wise. I think that's where, like, the heart chakra is so blocked. Because one day, I don't know where you want to go, because the otter, when it comes to that, whether it's having fun or connecting to find the joy and experiences you paint, because that's your heart chakra, it's like blocked. If you find joy in something, I think how easily somebody could go into like this nitpicky type state where it say you are good enough, to where they like dissect it, to where they kill the fun out of something. Then you go to turtle. Then you go to the then you go to the lizard. So instead of appreciating or living in a moment for a lot of things or whatever case may be, somebody gets lost in the dream. So it's like, oh well, let me rekindle. Let me see what I can have. Then they become lost at bay, especially when it comes to their own emotions, which this thing raised developing the confidence to be able to do what it is that they need to do. So it's the camel. The camel's a very tired energy needing to rejuvenate, need to get some rest, kill your ass to bed, getting over the hump, and boom. The vulture, letting all that go. That's a cleansing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's it, y'all. This is speak to eight minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna go live. But this conversation is so. I ain't gonna say it's draining, but the direction of where we don't know where this conversation is going, it's just going nowhere. Because it looks like somebody want to have fun and they want to do this, but somebody don't know how to have fun because they analyze everything and then they just kind of kill it off. But I kind of feel like somebody's quick to speak. But then you have this octopus or whatever the case may be. So I don't know. This could be somebody that wants to, like I said, even with the feminine connections, like wanting to have fun. But it's like you pick up certain people in your life that require so much more work and worth. They drain it. It seems like you just be like, oh. Okay, 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 okay. Somebody not honoring their needs. Even when it comes to money, like the owl. So 
money cord. So it's like, oh, so and so, so and so need this, so and so, so and so need this. Well, let me go do this. So it's a very draining energy and concept with money. <laughs> but I like the turtle though. I thought I had it, but, um, yeah, I put that shit over there. Hold on. Yeah, I might go back on live. I might. I don't know. This it. So, I'm gone. Is this it? This I'm gone. Gone, 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 gone. Upload this. I don't even think we gonna name this a weekly reading because this is not the weekly energy reading. This is more of a personal. Mm, mm. I don't even know if I want to upload this because what would I label this as? Um, I'm gonna label this bondage cycles. I don't know bondage and repetitive cycles. I don't know. I'm gonna name it something. This is not the weekly. Maybe it's not. So when you hear that first message come on, just avoid it though, because <sighs> energetically wise, I don't feel like somebody's ready to talk about it, which is cool. Knowing it's an issue, yes. Trying to fix it, not right now, no. Wanting some emotional validation, yes. Confused on where the direction you should go, yes. Is your confusion causing you problems? Yes, but no, no, so that's why I said we're just gonna label this something. Mm.